Hi, welcome to My Messy Fingers. This is Charlie. I am going to do a walkthrough for you on an album that I just finished for Scrap and Create. They are an online craft store. They sent me this collection, and with this collection, they sent a bag of goodies, and I've used just about all of them except for the big filigrees, corner filigrees. The paper collection that I used includes a six by six fussy cut pad, an eight by eight pad, and then a 12 by 12 pad, um, as well as brown card stock and then yellow card stock. When I make my albums, I want the paper to pop off the card stock. I don't want it blending in. I don't want it to look blah. So in this particular case, I uh, accented off of the yellow in the sunflower. So I backed the paper in yellow and then the yellow against the brown so that it allows everything to kind of stand up and uh, be noticed. Now I put the two filigrees here and then I fussy cut out uh, the puppy dog, the kitten, and the butterfly. And when I place them on here, the kitten is kind of looking this way, so that's where I put the butterfly. So it looked like it had captured its attention. Uh, the sunflowers are from my stash. Um, you've got plenty of floral to use by if you want to fussy cut them out and make yourself a cluster here. This came off of an eight by eight. This is one of the brass elements that came in with the kits that I got. I used my die cut machine and we cut a circle, cut this out. This is from the six by six. And then I cut out a corresponding yellow. I wanted that to pop a little bit. This is off of one of the 12 by 12s cut apart. And then we have a little tag and then I fussy cut out uh, a Sunflower put up here in the corner and then also fussy cut out another butterfly to put it here. This is popped up a little bit so there's it's raised and I, I love these little boots here. I just loved them. I just thought they would make a great accent down here at the bottom of the spine. And then this is the back and again one of my own floral. And the album does measure eight by eight. I did do a different um, opening instead of a uh, ribbon tie or it just being open. I tried uh, a new element here with using a magnet closure. So there are three strategically placed magnets under the here and in here. Now the album can be made without these two panels. You just simply stop right there, you don't continue. Then if you wanna use a ribbon tie, you can, or it's just open. It, it's entirely up to you. I just wanted to try something different. Not a requirement that you do this at all. So when we get inside here, we have our uh, left inside panel. It's magnet closure. These are cutouts. Here's one of the brass elements. It's a brass butterfly. And then in here we've got a couple of pocket pages. This is a small cutout element. And this is a card. Fussy cut out a butterfly so that take a little bit of the white up on this. And then you've got a nice uh, pocket and I just love these sad eyes. Just so adorable. It's so cute. And then we go over here. And now these two panels came out of the 8x8. Eight eight. Yeah, out of the 8x8. Eight eight. I apologize for that pause. And I wanted to do something with them that would include them uh, because they're such a strange size. So I took this one and made it the opening. So there's a magnet closure behind here and then took the larger one and sat it in the back. And then as you open this up, you can see we've got a couple of pockets again. I did fussy cut uh, this element. It's the little wheelbarrow with the three puppies and glued it in place and then fussy cut out this little dog holding this 
uh, yellow straw hat and put it over here on this pocket. And then we've got two card panels. Fussy cut out some butterflies to kind of uh, add an extra element in there. And then we've got a big pocket. This is from my stash. And here's a little, I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's a little brass bumblebee that came in with the kit. So he's resting on the sunflower. And then on this side, this is all one page. I just simply cut it so that I could make, um, keep these elements and then still make a page where you've got some journaling or you could put a, a, a two by three photo in here. I fussy cut this out, set it in place. And we have another pocket over here and these boots or wellies, whichever, however you wanna call them. I fussy cut those and put those in there. I think they're adorable but you've got another pocket. This came out of the um, 12 by 12 collection. And this came out of the 12 by 12 collection. This, there's two of these um, in the paper pack. So I'm simply taking the other side of this for this, for the cards. So I'm not losing any element to using that someplace else. Cute little cutout card, just more of an accent. Maybe put in some dates and some verbiage, but here's a big journal page. I just thought that that was an excellent place or opportunity there for someone. And then over here, we're taking one of the larger cutouts. And again, the puppies. This is their backside, so I'm using the backside to create a journaling opportunity. This is coming out of the 8x8, eight eight, and I tried to keep it as large as I could. I ended up trimming it to fit, but I just loved all the images on this, and I didn't really want to be cutting um, them in half. So then when you open this up, you've got a side tuck. Uh, again, the floral is from my stash, but we've got the bumblebee that came in with the brass elements. Large spots here for a good size photo. And then this is a nice tuck here, and then you've got a photo opportunity here. And then you've got a, a journaling opportunity maybe, or a small photo here. This is a small cutout. I have to remember which way. I did that. And then we have the old mill, the puppy. I just think these things are so adorable. And we've got a couple of tuck pockets here. And then again, this is the reverse side to this card element. This is another one of the smaller cutouts. I backed it on paper. Put a photo here or do some journaling. And then you've got a nice size pocket and then you've got either journaling or uh, photos for that right there. And then to back here, we've got a double waterfall. So the waterfalls are three and a half by five, but they do have a half inch score line that's tucked under. And I, uh, covered the, the ends of them so that they weren't just brown strips of cardstock hanging out here. So I cut half inch strips to add a little bit of texture. Fussy cut out the butterflies. And here's one of those brass elements. This is a puppy dog and this is a kitten. So I glued them on here for just for extra um, attention getters, I suppose. And then uh, again from my stash. So there you have it. That is Farmhouse Gardens uh, by Chow Bella for Scrap and Create. And thank you for attending. Pre appreciate it. See you soon.